Hey guys, this is the Spirit Monger 187, and we're back for another match of Shadow Era. And I'm going to play a different deck now. I'm only going to play it once, I think. I've never tested out this deck, it only got like 4 or 5 allies or something. And I saw it once before and wanted to build it, and I never tested online, so this is a premiere. Uh, let's get rid of the Daylight Nexus. So, the new month has begun, so that's the reason why I'm going to play this deck, because I can screw up not very much. Because, as you can see, we have still zero rating points, so this is our first online match uh, in the new season. Which will end, I think, on the 1st of December. Uh, yeah, this is a really kind of cool, fun deck that I saw once, and I really want to try it out. So what we have here, Wild Berserker, Wild Berserker does 2 damage, uh, allies in combat, while opponent does more allies in does haste, and I only play like 3-4 allies, so this one is pretty nice. But I guess we're going to sacrifice it here, and end turn, give our opponent the high, have fun. So we're playing against the Amber, rain deck now, and I think we are going to lose, because uh, I think this deck is not very good. I only tested it out against some uh, AI, so offline, against the computer, and yeah, I've won them all, but... Not very, uh, with very big differences. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of the Enrage and we're going to play the Blood Frenzy. Well, this is a strange card to play with Amber, but hey. So that's what I really like about the new seasons. Uh, you start at zero rating again, so you're playing against someone who's maybe much, much better that had like 300 rating before. Or against someone that only had like 200 rating or something. So that's really nice. So let's just see what we're going to do here. There comes a Yari Spearman, so pretty aggressive. And I'm going to take some damage. So next turn we're going to play this card for some additional life gain. And we have drawn a Smith Shop, which is also pretty nice. Weapons and armor cost one less to play. Here we go, and turn, so we're going to take some damage this turn. But after that, we can play our weapon, use our ability, so we can do something back finally. So yeah, I didn't have received any prizes uh, from the last season. So if you were in the top 100, you received prizes, so if you have received prizes, you are watching this video just put in the comment below what you've won I really would like to see that um, and the reason why I haven't maybe is because I am not good enough or uh, yeah there was just uh, not too enough time for me to play the game I was really busy with uh, GTA 5 uh, playing Hearthstone making some content for that as well which coming uh, soon Uh, let's see here. Let's say we're going to destroy that weapon over there and play our smith shop. And let's just use our ability on the Yari Spearman. Let's get rid of that. Gain one life, two life, and we'll enter. So, yeah, I was pretty busy. I made it to 276 rating, or 370, yeah, 276. So, in all fact, that's the highest rating that I ever had before, but it's not fair to compare it with the last years, because um, then the season would last for half a year or something. So then it was really hard to get, the, get that rating, at least for me. <laughs> so, but uh, let's uh, hope we're going to do uh, a bit better this month. And I have a holiday somewhere in this month, so... I got some more time to play and record and stuff like that. Let's see, there come two allies. Okay, really nice. Let's just say we're going to skip this and play our armor. And we'll just enter here. So let's prevent him from dealing some more damage to me. So next turn we can drop out uh, our weapon for four resources. And we could sacrifice something to play one of these. 
do if 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 he plays a really scary thing, we can stop it. But this one gives us uh, some more <laughs> air, as you call it, some more breathing space. Because he have done me quite amount, quite amount amount of damage. <laughs> So let's see what he's up to now. He didn't sacrifice anything, so he's still stuck at four resources. There comes a jeweler's dream. So if he attacks me, he's going to be frozen. That's really nice. And there he comes for one damage, frozen. So we have it where <laughs> we have we don't need to worry about this amber again for another two turns. And there that one comes. And with our weapon we're going straight for his throat now. Because we really need to do some damage for ourselves. Let's see what he's going to play. Another dirt stabber. That's fine. Uh, let's just... What is my mouse doing? Let's just skip this one here. And... I'm going to play this weapon. And hit him in the face. And we'll just end turn here. This one that ambush, so I cannot attack him, right? Attack him back if he attacks me. <laughs> so he's going to get rid of another durability here. And then it's gone. But we have our master smith on our hand, so we can take it back anytime. So that's not much of a problem. And these two guys, uh, these three guys over here are also frozen for another turn, so... I do not have to take any damage. There he comes, destroying my armor. And is he going to play something? Nope. So this turn we're going to sacrifice this one over here. Here you see my second ally. I only play two or three of those, this one and the other one. Yes, please. Yeah, so this one is pretty nice if you don't have much allies in your deck. Oh, they are not frozen anymore. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> we are going to take back the armor. And this one has two. So we're going to destroy this one. And we are going to launch back that one. There he goes. So just end turn here. So if he attacks me this turn, I'm going to deal 3 damage back and it's getting another extra attack on it, the weapon. So that's nice. So we are not on very high health, but I think we have everything under control as it looks for now. So we don't have to worry about anything yet. <laughs> and he's still stuck at fear 4 resources, so I don't think anything big or scary is coming this way. And we haven't seen a blood, blood frenzy from his side yet. So next turn we're going to play our armor again. And after that, I hope this, uh, this ally, the Berserk, and he's going for my throat again. Pumping up my weapon. Yep. Okay, let's see here. There's some destruction here. How much does this have? Two. And let's get rid of one of the allies. Okay. This one has only one durability left. Let's just play this one. Use our ability to destroy this one. And we are going to hit him in the face before freezing him, I think. No, we're not going to freeze him. Uh, okay. And that's it. Just going to unturn here. 15 health left. 
So we have to watch out because he's going to deal me 5 damage this turn. Take me down to 10. I'm going to lose one life. Putting me down to 9. Yeah, we really have to watch out. But it's nothing to really worry about. But we have to deal some damage to some allies soon. Freezing them. Now if he attacks me. And we have to kill them soon with our weapons to gain some additional life. And does he come in with his hero again? So as you can see this Amber Rain deck isn't quite a good Amber Rain deck. He's playing some cards that I would never play. <laughs> um, oh, of course I'm going to prevent some damage with my armor so I'm going to 12 health. But he's playing some cards that I have some serious doubts of and those are not pretty good. And it's still kind of hard to win with this deck. But maybe if you guys see this deck and you think like, oh, this uh, this card would be much better in the deck or that card would be much better. Maybe you build some, some kind of deck for yourself and have some fun with it. Uh, let's see over here. We got... Oh, we're not going to sacrifice it, of course. We're going to cast out our weapon. And we are going to attack. Deal him some damage. And yep, that's it for this turn. And turn. So they both can't attack. That's nice. Five resources left. Let's see what he's going to do because I am going to cast one of these allies, I think, next turn. It would be the best choice. We really have to deal him some more damage because he is at 20 health, so we have to finish this soon. And maybe as well destroying his weapon. Let's see what we have here. A blood frenzy. Uh, so I could play this one. I would have three resources left. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's attack him. Finish it. And we'll attack him to gain some more life. Going to back to 14 health, and we're still going to prevent some damage because if he's going to attack me, I would only take two damage, and he would be frozen for another two turns. So that would be nice. So yeah, still nothing to worry about. These are 20 health, so now we can really do some to do <laughs> to do some damage against him with our uh, weapon and our ally. There goes our weapon. Doesn't matter because we still have a reserve weapon in, in our hand. Is he going to play something else or not? So this will be the only match that I will play this deck. So next match I'm going to play uh, I think a land shadow stalker. Or uh, Elementalist deck again. Let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to play something else or nothing? Here comes a crippling blow. Okay, that sucks. It's only going to take longer until I finish him off. Let's uh, just say it's only how you control. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just get rid of one of these. Play this one and this one. Now it has one more attack. And we'll just hit him in the face for two. And Antonia. So let's hope he's playing a little bit quickly so I can finish this off soon. I'm just losing one life each turn because of my blood frenzy, but I can still make it out for a few turns. 
So he's at 18 health, he got 3, three shadow re resources. There comes Burgett Skillborn, doesn't matter. So we are going to skip this and play this one and play this one and we'll just attack him oh that's strange and now we can use our ability let's just do that first and we gain some health go back to 12 and hit him in the face for 3 and we'll end turn so now we're at 10 health, but we're going to deal some more damage next turn. Because our weapon deals 4 damage, and our ally deals 2 damage. That's a nice 6 damage for him. Taking him down to 9. And almost end the game here. Yeah. So there comes another ally that you have that you don't see in many matches. That I almost never seen played. I'm not even gonna read it because I don't care, and it says like it has plus one plus one or something when you have allies in play or something. If you have two or three or more allies in play, so let's just play that one also, putting up some more pressure and then turn. It's pretty cool artwork though. It's a nice card. It looks like very nice, but it's not good in uh, in Shadow Hero. At least I. Uh, I haven't seen it fit in any of my decks, so uh, I think this is it, right? Deal some more damage, take him down to six, five, four, three, and finish him off with my hero. So yeah, I hope you like this match. Uh, <laughs> it was really more of a fun match because I haven't any rating or something. So well, but now we have one hundred and three ratings, so there wasn't much to screw up. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, you get some ideas from the deck, maybe build one yourself, it's pretty fun to play because uh, there's only one deck that has many allies in this deck and that's most of the time that are the wolf decks, but this deck only has like 4 allies or something, or 6 that I play, only those 2 that you saw, and of course the other one, the artful squire that removes uh, an artifact or something. But those are really the only allies that I have, and the Artful Squire is most of the time to remove something. So yeah, I hope you like this match, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next match. Cheers!